How we doing today, folks? So here we are. We're working on the old vintage camper, the 1963 Metzendorf. And I just sprayed the icebox with some awesome. Look at that beautiful icebox. <laughs> and then yesterday's little project was taking the contact paper. Well, there might be a little bit of glue still right there. It's still a little sticky. Look at that table. Isn't that snazzy? So I'm going to polish the edge and I'm going to take some wax to the top. And I'm going to do some other stuff, which you will be seeing here in a little bit. So I need to find a rag <coughs> in this very organized shop of mine. Look at this. So organized. <laughs> it's an organized mess. get the grime you know it's not going to be perfect this thing that's the original paint isn't it kind of cool how they the appliances they used to have this fade effect or where they were lighter in the middle and they got darker on the edge Clean up this ice box. That's going to go back in. Eh, a little bit of dirt came off. Probably take some polish to it. But I don't think I'm going to. I could paint it. I'm trying to leave this thing about as original as I can. And polish the handle. Well, we'll see how so that just goes. for kicks I decided to uh, give this a try with the buffer and the uh, mother's aluminum polish and see if we can make a difference on the front of this vintage camper <laughs> just slathered some on there Let's see how this works Might save some elbow grease. There's usually so much tarnish on this aluminum that uh, I gotta figure that the rag, the pad, will just fill up in no time. But, might be worth trying. I don't know what to do about this around the old uh, Metzendorf sticker, the decal. Kind of go around it. I don't really want to buff that off. Let's see what happens. I just lightly go over it. A friend of mine has one of those crickets because these, these decals, you can buy them online. They're like forty dollars. I'm gonna take some some uh, like an SOS pad to this. This is it was a bracket for a must have been like a TV antenna. <laughs> That'll clean up really good. But uh, I don't know. We'll give this a try and see what happens. I'm sure, we'll still have to do it by hand, but we're trying. Do with the rag to see what happens when I stop. So I already did that spot. It shows you what you can do just by hand. But even though it's a small camper, it's still quite a bit of surface. <laughs> She's out of the line, folks. Wow. Black that is. I knew that was going to happen. Well, let's see what happens when I take a rag to it now. It takes the top layer off, I guess. I don't know. 
right, so let's do it by hand. You gotta still get in the nooks and crannies by hand. That's the, the nooks and crannies is what takes the paste. I make more of a mess doing it this way. Yeah, the, the paste went right into the nooks and crannies. Look at that. If you've ever polished aluminum, you can polish and polish and polish. And every time you look at the rag, it's going to be black. This there is a lot of oxidation, tarnish, whatever you want to call it, on aluminum. So let's just look at it from back here. Well, <laughs> it's a little shinier. It's probably going to do it by hand. Look how easy this comes off. This is a used piece of steel wool that I was using the other day. But stuff, stuff has a ton of soap in it. And our German Shepherd Dixie, for some reason, if you leave her in the shop and you're outside doing stuff, the one thing she'll always get into is the steel wool. And she'll chew on it. She'll chew it right to bits. But once you think with all this soap, that would taste horrible. But she likes it for some reason. That's some stubborn rust in there. So this bracket, <laughs> they put bolts all the way, all the way through, and they had nuts on the inside with washers. They must have wanted to make sure that wasn't going to come off. So I've used this for the. Uh, frames around the windows. You can really polish this a little bit. You gotta be careful though because you can scratch it. But it's definitely the easiest way to polish the aluminum around the windows. You can get some of this. Usually what I do is take these screws out. And then you can get the rust easier. You don't have a screw there. You get a lot of rubberneckers going by. Oh, that was a police rubbernecking. You could hear that vehicle slow down. You want the ladder? Yeah? You gonna be able to reach what you need? Uh, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I could do that for you. I'd do just about anything for you. <laughs> you had the camera on. <laughs> You'd have acted different, wouldn't you? Very different. You would have got all dressed up. I would have and... been really bossy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I'll get you the ladder, my dear. Thank you, my dear. I wouldn't dare not do it. Be held to pay. So literally five to ten minutes with the steel wool. And this is how it's come out around the window so far. So not too bad. So I wanted to do one spot next to the window to show what this whole window frame can look like with a little bit of polishing. And it's not done, but I pulled the rusty screws out of there and polished that one section. The difference between that and this side, and this has already been cleaned. Even just polishing on that. 
grip edge a little bit. It makes a huge difference. But it takes a lot of polish. You can see the spot where I polish. They had those levelers, those uh, levels there. So I gotta get that glue off. This thing. So, we got somebody interested in it to finish it. I might sell it that way, I'm not sure yet. Or I might paint it. I'm not sure. That's the problem. Is somebody might want it polished just with a nice colorful stripe on it or something. But I think that's going to be it on this thing for today because it's starting to rain, which I'm really glad because we planted all this grass seed. And now we need rain to help it grow. So we will see everyone later. Oh, by the way, I'm using the GoPro that the dog chewed up. Seems to be all right. Wait for the, of course the wind starts up. The wind's been going, honey. Is this thing on? Are you there? You can tap on it. Hello? Like Are you there? Is this on? Hey folks, thanks for watching our videos. Please remember to like, share. What was the other thing?